the Lehigh Valley of Pennsylvania, a historic manufacturing region where unemployment has reached a 25-year high. But it's a different tune at one company, whose products have been strummed by some of the world's most famous guitarists, including Eric Clapton, Paul McCartney, Joan Baez, and Elvis. More than 500 people work at Martin Guitars, and though hiring is frozen and some have retired, no one has been laid off, even though sales are down by 20%. The upper management made the decision to, okay, let's see what we can do and keep everybody working. And it's, it, it's worked. Everybody, everybody's working. Martin Guitars has been turning out its instruments in the same town for a century and a half. But unlike companies whose stock is publicly traded, it answers only to the same family that founded it six generations ago. The current CEO is Chris Martin IV. Right now, you know, we're profitable, but not the way a dynamic business likes to be profitable. To stay profitable and to keep his workers busy, Martin brought back this cut rate model. It's based on the same guitar that helped keep the company alive more than 70 years ago during the Great Depression. And within oh, two or three weeks, we sold 8,000 of them. Enough orders to keep the factory humming well into next year. By then, Martin hopes his more profitable models will start selling again. But Martin says his full employment policy doesn't just stem from the goodness of his heart. I'm going to be selfish about it. If I have to lay someone off and they do find another job, I've lost a highly skilled, valuable, probably long-term employee that I then need to replace with a new employee that probably doesn't have any idea how to make guitars. You never know, you know, but uh, hopefully it stays here and, and all the work stays here and, and uh, we continue to, to do, you know, a lot of, a lot of uh, guitars like we've been doing. The company, however, still has the option of shifting production to its smaller plant in Mexico, where labor costs are much lower. Martin admits that could happen, but he's made this pledge to his employees. If you're willing to be retrained, I will find work for you if the job that you're presently doing migrates to Mexico. And after celebrating 175 years in business with this company concert, Martin and his workers expect to keep selling guitars into a third century. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Nazareth, Pennsylvania.